We all know a pair of 45s are good on a modified Pinto. But can a pair of 40s cut the mustard? And what about the good old 32, 36? Has it got any chance? We tested a modified Pinto engine, specs here, with a 3236 DJV, a pair of 40 DCOE on 32 mil chokes, and a pair of 45 DCOE on 36 mil chokes. So our test motor, equipped with a big valve head, Newman P4, and 10.9 compression, with the 3236, made 134 pound foot of torque, and 140 brake horsepower. So in red, we've got the overlay of the faulty DCOE. Power and torque were up right through the rev range. Win-win all round. You will notice there's a difference in the start point of the test between the red and the black, and that was literally that with the black test on the 3236, I started the run really low down just to see if that cam would work at really low speed with that carb, and it did. When you start overlaying three graphs, if you've got power and torque up together, things look really messy. So at this point, I'm just going to switch to power or torque. I've now added the graph for the 45 DCOE. A couple of points to note here. Originally, I ran them up on the 34 mil chokes, but switched to bigger 36s. And in fact, the bigger 36 chokes gave more power everywhere. If you look at the graph, around about 6,700 RPM, there's a bit of a downward spike in the plot for the 45s. I didn't realize it at the time, but when I later reviewed video footage of the engine running, I spotted and heard for some reason the engine actually misfired, which is why there is a downward spike. So we're now on talk. Quick reminder, black line 3236, red line 40s, blue line 45 DCOE. As you can see, around 3700 RPM on the 45s, we've got a bit of a tip in, dip in the torque curve. At that point, the cam and the valves and the car pressure size, it just isn't working that well together. And we got some fuel standoff, creating a very rich point in the mixture. On the graph, it looks a big dip, but in reality, it's not actually all that big. Once we got beyond 5,000 RPM, the 45s had a clear advantage, considerably more horsepower and revving out better. Again, we've got the slight misfire at 6,700 RPM, but by that point, the engine's actually peaked in power anyway. For your viewing pleasure, we're going to now show you the dyno run on the 45s and then I'm going to give you the numbers. The scores on the doors, 32-36, we had 134 pound foot and 140 brake horsepower. On the 40 DCOEs, we had 148 pound foot and 152 horsepower. And on the 45s, we got the same 148 pound foot, but power went up another 14 horsepower to 166. We're not done with comparison testing. We've got more carbs, and exhaust manifolds in the pipeline. So get the notifications, subscribe.